Okay, so here's what we're making today. And I wanted to add on, or just let you guys know um, that Adornable Elements Beads of the Month Club, their um, communications or PR uh, person, Tina, she has reached out to me and wanted me to let you all know that they've had an issue with their emails in their customer service department. So they are always wonderful to respond to emails. They're very quick. I never have to wait any time for Tina to get back to me. Um, but they have had an issue with emails going to their spam folder accidentally. And apparently this has been going on for a while and they did not know it. So um, they wanted us to let all of their valued customers know that they have not been ignoring emails. They have not been receiving them. And since then, the, the issue has been fixed. And um, if you have tried to get in touch with them and you could not, please, please try again. Um, they would never ignore anyone. Their customer service is amazing. Um, but they, you know, just that was unforeseen. There was nothing they can do about it. And once they figured it out, they fixed it. So just wanted to let everybody know that. Um, so check it out, Adornable Elements, Beads of a Month Club. We're going to make some beautiful stuff today. I did add this on at the end of my video because I forgot to add it on at the beginning. So <laughs> if you feel like things are a little out of order, they kind of are. But I wanted to make sure that I told you all that because, um, you know, it was a big deal for them. They, they don't want anyone to feel like that they're not being taken care of. Um, they are very, very good with customer service. So hang on into the video here and we'll get started making this beautiful set of jewelry. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we're going to make a bracelet and, and pair of earrings using the Adornable Elements Beads of the Month Club for September. And it was a gemstone of the month club, and we had beautiful unikite. So that's what we're going to be using. First of all, I just pulled this randomly out of the box. Our encouraging word for today is do your best. It's pretty simple and easy. Right. Okay, so we're going to start with the earrings. So this is what we're going to make. The unikite in this box is just absolutely gorgeous. You have a lot of different shapes that you can work with. And what I've done is I've taken one of the barrel beads, one of the rounds, I have added a couple of my own bead caps. I have added a couple sparkly little rondelles in this pink color. I'm using the ear wire from the box. I'm using a piece of 20 gauge wire that is about, I don't know, four inches long here. And I have a ball head pin. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is take our bead here and we're going to make a wrapped loop. So to do this, I'm taking my wire coming up about, hmm, I don't know, about this far and bending 90 degrees. Then I'm going to take my pliers and you don't need to make a huge loop here. So I'm down toward the end of my plier, coming up and over, rotating my plier up and coming on around. And there you have a little loop. I'm gonna hold that loop with my plier and I'm going to wrap. Okay, so I'm just wrapping. I don't really care to do a really neat wrap here. I like it to be a little messy. I like the look that it gives. It's kind of like a boho. I'm going to cut this right off and just tuck it to make sure that there's nothing snagging around there. Okay, now we're going to take our little pink rondelle here, slide it all the way down, a bead cap, our barrel bead, another bead cap, and another little pink rondelle. This is what we've got. This is 20 gauge wire, by the way. It is very soft 20 gauge wire though. And I'm gonna do the same thing up here. I'm just gonna wrap again. This one I'm gonna make a little bit messier even than the one on the bottom. So grabbing with my pliers. And just gonna wrap a little bit. Okay. I'm going to trim that right off. 
I have a little container. I keep all those little bits of wire in because you can use them later for other things. Little um, head pins or eye pins. You can make all kinds of stuff out of them. Okay. So there we have it. I'm going to take my ear wire and I'm just going to go ahead and put this guy right on the top here. Close this up. And then we're just going to make our little dangle that goes on the bottom. So I'm going to put it onto the ball head pin. Bend 90 degrees here. We are going to take our plier. Actually, I need to get a better bend in that. Hold on. My head pin is rotating on me here. Let's go up just a tad bit and bend it sharply. There we go. And again, it doesn't need to be a big loop, but I'm going up and over, rotating my pliers up and coming under. And I'm not going to close that loop yet. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right on here. Because we've got two wrapped loops, we're going to have to insert this one while it's still open. Okay, I'm going to grab my wire right here. I'm trying to grab it across where it crisscrosses right there, and then I'm just going to wrap. And I find I have a better uh, deal, I have a better time wrapping if I wrap with my, <laughs> well, except for now when everybody's watching, um, when I wrap with my two pairs of pliers instead of trying to do it with my finger. Um, and these ball head pins here are a little stiff. Sometimes they're really thin and you can, you know, wrap easily with your finger, but these seemed a little stiffer and I needed to use my plier and it still was a little bit testy there. Okay, so there are our two little earrings. Super cute. This unikite so pretty. Um, and so those turn out really easy and they're so, so quick and easy, or really well and they're so quick and easy. Now we're gonna do a bracelet. So for the bracelet, where my, okay, you're going to need a piece of tiger tail or bead stringing wire. Okay, I've got about, mm, let's say, eight to nine inches here. I've got four of the barrel beads, some more of those little bead caps, several of the six millimeter rounds. I've got two of the toggle rings and one bar. I'm going to show you how to make an adjustable toggle on this. I pulled out three rhinestone rondelles. I just wanted a little more sparkle. And then I've got my little um, three millim or four millimeter rondelles, the same ones from the earrings. And I've got two crimp tubes, two by two crimp tubes, and two five millimeter wire guardians, okay? So what we're gonna do on this one is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our toggle bar I am going to hook a jump ring onto this toggle bar because uh, I want to make sure that it has enough room to go through my beads at the end of this bracelet. So I'm going to hook a jump ring on and you'll see what I mean. It has enough room to get through here with the beads behind it is what I'm trying to say. So I always like to put a jump ring. I don't like to hook it directly to my bead stringing wire just because of that. I do want to make sure that this jump ring is closed up really good, okay, because I'm going to crimp onto it. And I'm going to take my wire guardian, I'm going to put my crimp tube on, I'm going to go up and over with my bead stringing wire on my wire guardian. And I'm coming right down the other side, okay, and then I'm going to insert the wire guardian onto this jump ring and you don't have to you could always open the jump ring later and put it on I just like to go ahead and get it done while I've got it here okay pull tight slide your crimp tube up over both of the wires okay pull it up now you want to pull this tight so there's no wire sticking up here and that that's how you do that you just pull your wires tight make sure that they're you know, there's nothing sticking up there. I like to pull it down as much as I can because I don't want to waste much of the wire. So I like to get it as close to the end and still get that little crimp tube on there as I can. There we go. Now, you want to make sure that your wires are not crossed. See how mine are crisscrossing over? I want to twist that, make sure that they're not crossed and holding everything very tight, I'm going to grab my crimping pliers. 
I'm going to turn it this way so that I can use my right hand to crimp and still hold these wires tight with my left hand. And in the little divot here on the crimping pliers, I'm putting my uh, my, my crimp tube, making sure these wires are not crossed, and I'm crimping down firmly. And that is going to create two little channels. See those two little channels? Maybe. Let me see if I can get them on here. There they are. Two little channels. One piece of wire goes in one, one piece of wire goes in the other. Then I'm going to come up. I usually use either the first, or usually I use the second little uh, divot there in my crimping pliers. You turn this guy vertical and you just put it in there and close it right up and there is our crimp okay very tight very secure now we're gonna bead so let's see I want to do a couple probably three of these little sparkly rondelles and I'm putting them up over the tail any tail that I have left sitting there all right, I'm going to do, let's go ahead and do a big six millimeter. Are these eight millimeters? These may be eight. So I don't know. <laughs> six or eight. A sparkly rondelle. My round bead. A sparkly rondelle. And one more round bead, I think, is going to work. Okay and another little sparkly rondelle. Now I'm gonna use my big guys here. I'm gonna do a bead cap, my big bead, a bead cap, this rhinestone rondelle, another bead cap, barrel bead, bead cap, Rhinestone rondelle, bead cap, barrel bead, bead cap, rhinestone rondelle, bead cap, <laughs> barrel bead, bead cap, and then I'm going to repeat my pattern back. So I've got my little six millimeter or goodness, little four millimeter, oops, my round bead, four millimeter, round bead, four millimeter, round bead, and three four millimeters. One, two, three. And then I'm going to measure because I do want to make sure this is not going to be super, super freaky long <laughs> because my wrist is small. And yeah, we're, we're good. We're right at about seven inches. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take a jump ring and I am going to, I'm just going to go ahead and crimp right onto it just like I did on the other end and then actually I'm going to go ahead and do this this because if I do if I crimp right onto it and then have to open it things might fall apart so let's go ahead put our little toggle ring on here okay and then I'm going to do my crimp bead my wire guardian going up and around just like I did before not back through the crimp bead yet and then we're going to put it on our jump ring here. Okay. Now we're going to go back through the crimp bead and a couple of these beads if we can. I just kind of shove it through there and see where it decides to come out. And it's coming out down here below this round, so that's fine. Now pull it tight. Now on this side, and you want to pull it tight, but you don't want it to be, you know, so tight that there's no movement. So don't make it like poker straight tight, but you do want it to be, you don't want room in there for things to be flopping around. Okay, so we're gonna take our crimper. Now on this end, you can't really tell if your wires are crossed. You know, it's just hard. So 
We're just going to crimp firmly, turn it vertical. I always, if I can keep the wires uncrossed, I always try to, you know, like on the other end I could tell, but this end you can't. There's really not a heck of a whole lot you can do about it, so you just got to do your best. But if you can, it's always good to, you know, to do it where you can, but you know, this time it's a little harder. Okay, so crimp that closed. Give it a tug, make sure everything's secure. Trim this up. And here we have it. So this would fit me perfectly, okay, right here. But I'm not sure that it would fit somebody else that would have a bigger wrist. So I'm going to create a double toggle closure. And to do that, I'm going to take um, a jump ring. I'm going to take two jump rings, actually. I'm going to do what's called double jump ringing it, just because I want to be sure that it goes on here well. And I'm just going to take it and clip it right on. Well, I may double jump ring. I'll have to see. This one may actually... Yeah, I don't think a double jump ring is going to go through that little loop. So we're just going to single jump ring it. But you just jump ring another toggle bar or another toggle ring on, and that way somebody can come along if they need the longer one and they can use it. That gives about another inch to the bracelet. Um, you could even add more if you wanted to. And sometimes I like to take it, and so let's pull out a ball head pin. Or actually, where are the head pins that they gave us in this? Here's the head pins that they gave us. We'll use one of these. I like to make a little dangle on the end. So we'll put that little six millimeter bead and we'll go ahead and do one of the little uh, rondelles. I'm just gonna make a 90 degree bend and then I'm gonna use my round nose plier and I'm gonna come up and around rotate up, come underneath. We've got our little loop. Grab it and do a little wrapping. These were cute little head pins that they gave us with this little decorative element on the end. And the reason I didn't use it on the earring is I just wanted to keep it kind of tiny because this copper on this um, head pin is a little bit different shade than the copper I was using in the ear wires and stuff up here. So I didn't want to make it too, too different. Now um, we're going to jump ring this right on. So let's take our jump ring. Open it right up. And just put it right on here and it just makes a cute little dangle. Decorative element right on the end. So there it is. So we can just put this right on. I can clasp it in the higher um, ring because my hand is, my wrist is small. But there it is. Cute, cute, cute little bracelet. We have our extra toggle in case somebody with a larger wrist would want this. And yeah, this beautiful unikite with the sparkly stuff, uh, sparkly things interspersed between is just gorgeous and then here is our earring set so yeah really really enjoyed this month's box with the unikite i think it's really gorgeous and just makes a very very classy um, looking set of jewelry especially with these coppers just beautiful so if you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like it and subscribe to my channel um, check out Adornable Elements Beads of the Month Clubs. I will link them in the description box below. I have a coupon code. It is Wendy10. You can sign up for as many of the clubs as you want, and you will get 10% off of each club, it, the first box of each club that you sign up for. So that's a very generous offer from um, the company. And um, yeah, check them out. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.